If you have watched our previous video, then you might have a basic understanding on SQL map usage. If you have not yet watched that video then click the i button to watch now. In this video, we are going to dump data in an error-based scenario. Let's go back to the previously discussed example. Here, we are going to exploit the vulnerability using the error-based technique of SQL map to list the database user and list of databases using hyphen hyphen current user switch. Let me jump back to the previously used command and then type hyphen hyphen current user switch. It will automatically print the database's current user. Impressive. The current database user pointed out by SQL map is root. Now let us print the list of databases present using hyphen hyphen dbs switch. Now erase the previously typed switch and then type hyphen hyphen dbs switch. On completion, a hyphen hyphen dbs switch will print available databases. As you can see, we have now found seven databases, among them, four are the default for MySQL, they are like Information Schema, MySQL, Performance Schema, and PHP MyAdmin. And the other three are user created, they are Challenges, Security, and Test. Once we have the list of databases available, it may be a good idea to dump one of them. For demonstration, I'll select the security and dump out the tables present inside it. SQL Map provides the hyphen hyphen tables switch to list the same but it must be used in parallel with the hyphen D switch, which tells it which database to choose while dumping the tables. Here erase the DBS switch and then type hyphen D and specify the database name, and then type hyphen hyphen tables. The hyphen hyphen tables instruct the SQL map to extract all the tables from the security database. As a result, we've managed to find four tables in the security database. Next, we would try to dump out the data in the table that we are interested in. For obvious reasons, we are more interested in the content of the user's table. We'll use the hyphen hyphen dump switch in conjunction with hyphen D and hyphen T, which are used to dump out the data from the database and table names respectively. We will specify the user's table name after the hyphen T switch. The hyphen hyphen dump switch print the database table entries. Look at that, we have successfully extracted the data from the table. Sometimes it is possible that we are just interested in a specific column and not all of them. For example, in the previous output, we may want to extract only the username and password columns and might not want to waste time dumping the ID column. To select and dump from specific columns, we can use the hyphen C switch. Before that we'll have to use hyphen hyphen columns to print the column names without actually dumping the table. And then use hyphen C to select specific column names. First, let us print the column names only. Great! We've got the exact column structure, now let us select the username and password columns and dump from only these two columns. We will specify the column names after the hyphen C switch. There we have it. This data output is from only the username and password columns. As you can see from the syntax, the hyphen C option takes the comma separated values CSV of the column names. Interacting with the wizard. If the previous stuff looks complicated then, for basic familiarity, there is an interactive setup wizard where SQL map asks for things in detail, one by one, starting with the injection URL. Clear the terminal and then type SQL map hyphen hyphen wizard. The hyphen hyphen wizard switch invokes the wizard. As you can see, the wizard then asks for information. It will ask us to input the target URL as we have previously input after the hyphen you switch. No need to provide post data, as our target URL contained the get parameter. Specify the injection difficulty. Now choose the enumeration technique. Here it contains three different levels. 
Let's start with the basic level. It produces a basic output based on the setting chosen, such as the current user, the current database which was injectable, and whether or not the current user is a database administrator, DBA. Let's try again with the intermediate level. It produces more data such as database tables, with their respective columns, and many more. Dump everything. There is an SQL map option named hyphen hyphen dump all which dumps all the data present inside every single database accessible through the injection, including default databases such as information schema. This command will extract everything accessible through the injection. Dumping all the databases takes a long time and is generally not recommended. It may even disrupt the web application if the server resources are constrained. These are the whole process that can be used to dump the data from a database. If there are any doubts or queries left in mind then mention them in below comment section.